What is up, guys? Marky Street's back again with another video. Hopefully, I'm not covering any Mike. That's the last thing we need. We're rolling 27k right now, 30 frames per second. Uh, anyway, I got this old Sears here. Um, four horsepower Sears. Power Sears. Isn't that crazy? They don't make these motors anymore. And this is USA motor, even though it reminds me of Chinese junk. Yeah. It's having an issue over here. Um, so, anyway, um, what I did to it and where I got it, I got it from the junkyard or the salvage yard, and they have it on a stand with other motors like uh, old uh, Elgin and... Some, I think a Johnson in there. I, I don't know. It was, it was all messed up. Everything. Oh, the other ones had uh, the one Elgin had a locked up power head and didn't look too good. I mean, it would be great for salvaging for parts, but I don't work on Elgins. And those are, those are some old, old motors. Um. So I picked this buddy up. I looked in the gas tank. Everything looks really good in there. I redid the points condensers. Um, they were looking in pretty rough shape. They actually had the original points in it. Isn't that crazy? Old Ted Williams. Um, there's a cat meowing. Um, another thing, uh, it was... It was sitting outside, so water got inside it. I had to clean it up a little bit, make sure the ring wasn't seized. I didn't take the piston out or anything, I just threw some lubricant let it sit overnight um new spark plug um new wire and everything else um lower unit actually was checked out to be okay um props good um new fuel lines carburetor rebuild kit and uh yeah start it's purring like a kit now after the salvage yard i think i give it credit for doing a great job it took a lot of uh, finicky it had the wrong carburetor on it it was too small so it wasn't getting enough air and it was running wrong so I'm guessing that's why the other owner got rid of it so here we go okay I know these motors they tend to do that um, I don't know why I think my ratio is a little too high which is I'm pretty sure it is I think it's like 24 to 1 that's most modern motors now but uh, let's give it another shot. Usually if they don't do that, just put it on cold. And then maybe give it some choke. Okay, after it does that, um, go ahead and turn off the choke. There you go. What's going on? Meanwhile, all right. Um, I had to put some fuel on it. Um, the the tank is coming loose. I think something's loose. It's it's just rattling a ton. So just gotta tighten up some screws. But it'll be okay for this test run. Not like it's going on the lake anytime soon. Um, so yeah, I did all that to it, and let's see if it'll start now. Meanwhile. Tug on it. Keeping my arm so it doesn't rattle. Out of 
the junkyard, it's not too bad. Other than that, screws being loose and really annoying. Um, but yeah, it, it took a little bit of finicking. Um, I mean, that carver rebuild really did it. I think it's a nice running motor for, again, out of the salvage yard. It's crazy how people throw these away and they pulled off the skag and the gears were looking pretty fresh. They were like brand new almost. So all they did is threw some new gear oil in it and yeah, turns out the show, it's a good running motor. Okay, well that will be it on this motor. Um, I don't know if I'll break out the other motor anytime soon. Um, the one I just rebuilt is complete. Um, I do got to show you guys that running and this running out in the lake. So I can't wait to test it out in the lake and give it all she got. See if it'll start back up here. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh well. I got a really. I think it's that screw, is it? No. Oh, it's a whole shroud. Yeah. Alright, well, that'll do it on this one. Next motor.